it's uh, it's Jody. I'm back, and I want to talk about this uh, Subaru Legacy. Um, it's going to the customer today. Sorry, the dog is uh, scrubbing me many. It's going to the customer today, and I want to talk about it before it goes because uh, I may not get another chance. So uh, this is what it this is what it is. It's a Hasegawa one to twenty four Subaru Legacy Turbo. I think there were eighty nine to ninety five was the real production, and I actually had one. In Burgundy, and yeah, it was it was a special vehicle. Um, I had it in two thousand and two, two thousand and three, manual turbo. There was a little bit of work done to it. It was in great condition at the time, and uh, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> you can probably sense it that it was it was a special car. And since then, my brother has had an estate. Mine was a saloon. My brother has had an estate since, also in Burgundy. But um, he often said to me that white was his favourite colour and if you could like, pick one, they're very hard to get your hands on, a real one uh, nowadays. So this will have to do them. Um, I've spent the last few months probably just finding bits and pieces to make it a bit special. Um, I'll pop it out anyway first. So it isn't ever that easy to get off, which is probably a good thing. But you've just to be, they create a bit of suction. Um, as far as that's how it feels. So I hope you can see it there now. It's a uh, one to twenty four. I did a white, and the original wheels are they're nice. But I know he loves speed lines. He had speed lines on his own car. Now um, the problem was I could only find eighteen inch. I know this probably sounds if you're not a model maker like eighteen inch, but they're they're the, the scale. And the ratio would be accurate. So, trying to fit a wide, large wheel on a real one of these wouldn't be easy either. So, I understand that it was difficult for me, but it caused hours of trying to stretch the body. So, what I would do is I would heat the body up and uh, with a hairdryer, being careful not to do it too much, you don't want it to go out of shape. And then I would brace it in between the wings, the fenders, and uh, hopefully overnight I'd let it kind of cool down and just see and then I might do it the next night and over time whether it did anything I'm not too sure it might have helped a tiny bit but not enough to fit the speed lines in so then I actually I gave up at one stage and I put the the normal wheels on because it was such a headache um, it looked good it looked, it looked deadly but you can probably see from the image there, how it would look. It's only a black and white image, but they, it's black on the. It's black is the recommendation to do it. It's just slightly off black, like a metallic, very dark grey. And uh, this is another kit, by the way, because I got one for myself. I built his first. I won't be doing mine white because the black on white's a nightmare. <laughs> so I'll just show you. So the wheels come already pre coloured and they're nice, the original wheel was, was, was nice and it looked well and they sat quite well on but not like a speed one. And then the other thing I did was I bought CB Oscars, little 124 CB Oscars, it's a special spotlight that is of the period, 80s, 90s um, and he's also had those on cars and he loves them. So I wanted to do like a tiered type effect on them and uh, look, I'm not modeling that long. I'm no, I'm no pro, so it's it. It was it was all learning for me. It was difficult, but I enjoyed doing it. I just fashioned some plastic brackets um, from leftover bits, like spurs and things, and painted them chrome, and then uh, fixed them to the body. I had to adjust little bits of the body because they wouldn't fit in. The brackets wouldn't fit in, and um, but I'm I'm happy with the result. It's, it's pretty cool, it looks pretty aggressive from the front, they sit out just enough and it just gives it that extra special uniqueness that if you're giving it as a gift um, or a commission, whatever you want to say, it's kind of nice to be uh, to have some special touches. I also put an Irish registration plate on it, 95D555. My brother is into kind of unique regs and uh, I know that 95 was the last year that they were made and then 555 is, has notoriety with Subaru so I know he would pick up on those little things um, and D for Dublin in Ireland 
so I didn't do the panel lines I, I like doing panel lines now which is dropping some color and creating the effect of the doors the boot the bonnet but I think I think my brother will like it clean like this um, on a shelf I don't know if it was worth the, if, if it was mine I would do it but I don't think it was worth the risk of having it a little bit uh, it's not untidy like it looks good but I just I think he likes he's gonna like the clean look I also painted the brake calipers um, red they, they weren't originally red but again I think uh, it's just little touches that I know of and I think it appreciate and it makes the it makes the model unique it might be the only one around and the, there's a bit of niceness in the fact uh, seats I had thought about putting some like leatherette you can get uh, leatherette that you can put on seats I know he loves leather interior I don't I like cloth but in this instance I went with some matte dark grey and light grey so we'll, we'll, we'll get pictures of it once I'm finished blabbing on about it uh, I'll get some like little close ups but that's the that's the car I'm really happy with it it fit well enough together um, Hasegawa are pretty decent so yeah I wouldn't I would definitely build another Hasegawa I will be building one uh, went together well few little bits and pieces some holes as soon as you applied any paint at all they weren't big enough again so you would have to you, you have to be you have to take your time with it um, the underneath is pretty standard um, I didn't do much to the underneath I just aged the exhaust a little bit with a little bit of rust in the weld points um, also with the wheels um, so these are from a French producer and I bought two sets because I knew I'd, be, I'd want them for something else and one of them came with the little spore so if you look inside the wheel there's a little spore inside it uh, again I'll show you on a close up but that slides into the brake disc and that's what holds it on now the, I bought two sets and one had the spore one set had the spore and one was nothing just like the hub the inside of the wheel so I suppose it's up to you to, to, to try and fashion them on so I tried the ones with the little uh, sprue and the ones I pushed them in they wouldn't go in any further they met the hub and they sat way out too far so I ended up using the ones without it but I had to super glue them on so I sanded some of the brake discs down and I just super glued them on and again they came off once or twice and yeah it needed just a fair bit of patience but I'm really happy with the end result I love it I think the black and white I had to do a lot of asking and look if you get right up on top of it you'll spot stuff but to be honest, if that was in my shelf, I'd be quite happy. Or if I was gifted it, and you can't really get them. they're very hard to get a once twenty four Subaru Legacy in a metal decast model. So he's looked everywhere, and I've looked everywhere for years. And I got him a smaller one, one to forty three. But um, it's not easy to come by, and especially if you want a certain spec like Speedline wheels, white model, maybe spotlights. You're asking a lot there because like is the chances of finding that so. I think he's going to be happy. I have mine here, still in its wrapper, still just bare white plastic, all the bits and pieces are here. So I haven't touched mine. It might be a while before I do because I've got a lot of other stuff on the go. I've got two models drawing at the moment and I've got a few more boxes of others. So I'm going to, I'm going to let that sit because I've I've done enough with that one and I'm looking forward to it though, uh, maybe burgundy as I say, but you'll see it if you follow me on Instagram or anything you'll see it at hey Jody Bishop, hey H-E-Y, yeah, hey Jody Bishop, J-O-D-Y-B-I-S-H-O-P, so if you follow me I put all my stuff up and uh, maybe I top little bits of snippets or um, yeah, like little bits of help, so anyway, thank you very much for, for listening to me and uh, for watching. And if you have any questions or you want to get in touch or you want to know more, hit me up. Thank you.